Hi, my name is Kate and I'm from the More Than Borderline blog. So I'm originally from Australia and I come from a city called Adelaide, which has about 1.3 million people. But for the last 10 months, I've been living in Lima, which is the capital of Peru and has about 10 million people. So it's a really big difference for me. I was already not a city person and to go from relative peace to living in the grey, in the noise, in the constant stress, it's been really difficult for me. And I've noticed it's taken a really big toll on my mental health. Um, but in the meantime, there's been a few things that I've been doing to cope with living in the stress of a big city that I want to talk to you about. The first thing that I've been doing is looking for nature where I can find it. Luckily, I have a bunch of parks in my neighborhood, so I can take my dog out for a walk and just be in the green for a little bit. We're also not that far from the ocean, so if need be, we can go for a walk uh, down near the sea, which has been nice. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is just trying to take some positivity out of the situation. So I don't like cities, but you have access to a lot of food in a city. You can get any kind of cuisine that you like in Lima. So my husband and I have been trying to enjoy more of that while we're still here. Um, the last thing that I've been doing is really just having something to look forward to. I know that I can't live in Lima forever, so we've been making over the last few months preparations, and next month we're actually going to move to a small town in the Sacred Valley. So that's on the other side of the country, and it's a small town in the mountains. And I know that being in nature is really helpful for my borderline personality disorder. When I'm more connected to nature, I feel more calm, I feel more in control of my emotions, and I'm just overall doing better. So those are the things that I've been doing to cope with living in the city. I know that some people love city, some people hate them. So I love to hear from you. If you've been living with a mental illness and living in a city, what does that do for you in your head and how do you cope?